since we've seen each other so long we've got a haircut <laughs> actually i just got this haircut like last month so i guess that really doesn't count however hi guys you haven't seen me in a year <laughs> it's been quite a quite a while and i have a reason for that i can explain while also explaining a new video idea that i have which also technically explains where i've been because I need to explain the video idea to explain where I've been, you know what I mean? I'm talking too much, I'll just get into the video idea. So, I have my notes for it, so I need to, I need to check it before I spoke. <laughs> Excuse me. Anywho, point, point is, I've been watching a lot of YouTube since I've been gone. And, and oh my god, I hate my hair right now. It didn't come out how I wanted it to. These bangs are the death of me. Yeah, they curled, but they curled freaking weird, and now they look funny. But the show must go on because if I don't film this today, I won't film it at all. <laughs> I know myself. So, watching a lot of YouTube, and a lot of the videos that I've been watching are, you know, people. There's, I don't know if it's a new trend or it's just videos that I've come across, but it's like they're called the the blank diary. The, the glow up diaries, there's a lot of those for a minute, you know, where they're just doing a glow up, you know, losing weight and stuff, or becoming a better person, stuff like that. Sorry, I'm not making fun of it. I, I like those videos. Or the graduate diaries, or like kids who grad, kids, people who graduated college, you know, college diaries, people in college, all this stuff. I enjoy those videos, I find them very interesting. The thing that I don't like about them though is I feel like a lot of them are like they have an advantage because the people who are doing these videos have been on YouTube for a while so they're making money off of these videos so where they do have struggles which I'm not saying that they don't have struggles but it's not as much as like a normal person because they have money they have a job always secured you know what i mean so they're not having a hard time completely which again not saying that they're not i don't know their lives they're probably having a rough time i don't know just like me but i don't know i just feel like there's a lot of youtube videos that are not completely relatable and but anywho i wanted to do something like that but more sad <laughs> So mine would be, and y'all, I mean, I'm gonna be vulnerable here, which I don't do or like to do, but I'm gonna be vulnerable for a second. And the videos that, the diary videos that I wanna make are like, you know, someone who is 24 and from what it seems on, you know, when you go on social media and you see everybody you went to school with, see them getting jobs and they have they like their job they graduated college they don't have a problem I'm not saying they don't have problems but it seems like everyone's happy and then like you see yours and you're like huh me um you're like wow <laughs> i didn't finish going to college i only went to two years and i was like <laughs> no thanks bye and then you know you're you're working a full-time job that you fucking hate and makes you want to you know jump off a bridge every time you wake up to go to the job and you know you're living with your mom and three younger siblings and you're 24 and you don't want to live here anymore but you don't really have a choice because you have no money from the full-time job that's like shitty you know what i mean yeah <laughs> yeah so it would be that technically you know showing you being very honest and vulnerable about all of the bullshit that happens with that and comes with it and how it is hard though we all know nobody knows what they're doing technically you know but just you know when you're stuck in a place where you literally don't know what to do with your life and you're sad all the time about it and you don't know what to do you know which then leads me into like why i haven't been uploading and 
why I was gone for a year if anyone cares which I have like what 20 subscribers or something but I don't know maybe my family you know my friends give a shit last April <laughs> when I stopped uploading I had at the time when I stopped uploading I had an idea for videos that I would want to do and with those videos they kind of I needed a lot of like prep if that makes sense like note notes and stuff for it because I wanted to talk about movies and TV shows that I liked and talk about them and like though yes I can just watch it and come on here and just like bullshit about stuff but I I would rather have like Jesus I probably shouldn't have opened that but it's fine there's a lot of background prep work for the video that I needed to do before making it and yes I've been doing all of this for a year and have not finished any prep work <laughs> but that's because if you guys don't know which you probably do if you already watch my videos the four or five that I have up <laughs> I'm a housekeeper and I work at a hotel and around this time last year it was very very busy and we were very very understaffed so I was working extremely long hours like 9 10 even 12 hours a day and I was so exhausted that I didn't you know have the energy to do anything that had to do with making videos uploading editing any of that or coming up with ideas to film anything so I just didn't do it and on top of that around the same time I was able to get my boyfriend a job at the hotel and he was working the night laundry so I also had to train him on that so I would work in the morning at my normal time for a housekeeper at, if anyone hears sounds, the wind is going crazy. So if it sounds like the house is being attacked, it's the wind. Anyways, so I would work my normal time, which is me getting to work at 6.30 to whatever time I finished, to then going home, maybe taking a nap, and going right back into work to work the night shift to show them how to do laundry. Then I'd come home, sleep whatever time I could, go back in, and I did that for like two or three weeks. Did I get a raise? No. Did I get any acknowledgement? No. Not at all. None whatsoever. <laughs> None at all. Then, you know, he went from doing night laundry to being normal laundry because the other laundry person quit. So then we were literally at work 24 seven, it felt like, and I was exhausted. So that happened and then, I don't know if he'll let me put this in, but my boyfriend Damien, he was staying at the house when he would work because his house was too far away and he didn't have a job to I mean, didn't have a job, didn't have a car to get to the hotel, so he would stay at my house. And then on his days off, he'd go home and everything. But then uh, the house that him and his dad were renting, the guy, the landlord decided to sell the house, so they had to move out, they were kicked out, whatever. So then he moved in here and he's been staying here. So then we had to figure that out and you know, things were fine, chilling out. And then about last August, figured out that I have like a hip issue. <laughs> like my hips aren't aligned my left hip is like higher and twisted than the other one and it fucking hurts all the time and so i had to start going to physical therapy and then i was in pain and tired all the time from work physical therapy and everything it was just a lot so with all of that i was just like going fucking crazy in my head not crazy but like just being like i'm sad i'm sad <laughs> i everything just seems to go wrong nothing seems to be going right thought i got a new was gonna get a new job did it because they were only hiring in certain states and not online like they advertised in the fucking event job hiring event that they had so it was for the irs it was like a job hiring event that made you think that they were gonna hire online people so it didn't matter that i didn't work in these three states that they were hiring in but then literally the night before they send an email that says oh actually we're only hiring in-person people for these three states kill me yeah still work at the fucking hotel damien luckily got a new job that pays a lot so i'm happy that he got a new job and he enjoys it but 
I still work at the hotel. I still hate my life. I still am struggling up here. <laughs> and physically, you know, the hip thing. So I thought I'd make a video series, you know, and just, you know, show the struggles with that and all the bullshit that comes with it. And maybe everyone will see, you know, who's having a hard time that not that everyone goes through some bullshit and that maybe they'll get some inspiration, <laughs> I don't know, or like a boost something to make them feel good if they see someone else trying to do little things to change their, their, their life, their mental state, whatever. Maybe they'll, you know, maybe they'll enjoy it, I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, I just, I wanted something more real on the internet. Not saying that again, any of those types of videos aren't real. It's just, they're in a bubble because you make money from YouTube. You make money, you know, doing these things. And not saying that a lot of these people make bank, you know, they're not fucking these big names on the internet, but you know, they are making something and they don't completely have to worry about everything. And you know, they can pay for things that they need and they can find a place to live they can go move out on their own and not have any issues but you know people like myself and maybe some of you can't do that because why everything's fucking expensive like any place you try to get is overly expensive and i live in colorado right now right now i'm not moving anywhere else i live in colorado everything's fucking expensive out here and you know i don't make a lot of money i my hours are not consistent at work so i'm not getting a lot you know so yeah i don't know where i was going with that or even if i went anywhere i hope i did when i watch this back who knows but anyways the series is called also i i was very nervous to come up with this name because i struggled like i struggled just when i told you that i was looking at my notes all these notes literally are just for the name just for the name because i couldn't figure out a name and when i would tell my <laughs> my sisters and my mom they just laughed they just laughed and they didn't give me it. They were like, no, not that one. No, not that one. But they didn't give me any alternatives, you know? But I did come up with this one. It's gonna be called The All Too Real Diary. And I have tons of video ideas. And I promise I will be uploading them because, you know, why not? And I want to and I'm really excited. And I hopefully doing these will then... I also still want to do the movie and TV show stuff. And I still want to do all of those because I, I'm excited about them. Coming up with the notes and stuff and getting it ready, I was like, oh, I can't wait to just talk about this, but I, I know myself and I can't just talk off a whim. Like this right now, I, I made a script for, to say for this video. So for the other ones, I'm gonna have to do that. I just, you know, needed some time. I don't know. This also was gonna be filmed a bit differently. Like I was gonna go through my day and tell you all this stuff while explaining to you guys what kind of videos I was gonna make but then um, just trying to figure out the setup to film everything made me almost break down and cry so I just decided I'm just gonna sit down and explain to you guys what types of videos I'm gonna make. Everyone please, you know, get ready for the all too real diary. I am going to try, I'm not going to promise this because I don't know if I will. I'm going to deeply try to upload one, a little video next week. I kind of have one already planned out in my head. I don't know if I'll execute it <laughs> to how I want, but I have tons of video ideas for this series that like, you know, comes with the state I'm in, you know? 24, non-college graduate, living at home, living with her mom, working a shitty full-time job. So if there's anything that you guys want to hear me talk about that has to do with that, or you want to hear my take on it, or see what I do, or whatever ideas that you have, you can leave them in the comments. I'll take anything. Also, I look like shit. I didn't put makeup on because I, that was all too real, you know? What did he say? Hey! You gotta start off with being real and I look like crap. I feel like my hair. Like, I spent an hour doing my hair just for this video because I was like, no, if one thing has to be done, my hair has to be done. I want people to see that I got this haircut and I like it and it looks nice, but currently I feel like it's not giving. It could just be the fact of where I'm sitting and the fact that the sun's behind me and not in front of me or how I'm sitting. I 
I don't know, I was gonna try and get up and fix the blinds so to see if it would change, but the video's already over. I'm already done filming it, so it doesn't matter. Let's end it on a high note. Things that I've been doing to, you know, that I've been enjoying. Oh, on my days off, I put on these fake nails that I, that I, I think they're fun, yeah. I don't wear them to work because I know they'd break, because, you know, for making beds and stuff, they'll be like, because my, my normal nails do that. So I wear fake ones. I bought like a, I bought this big pack of like 120 nails in like six different colors. It, they're fun. I like them. I, I enjoy putting them on. I was very proud of myself yesterday because I thought I didn't get any glue on my hands and I didn't. And then a couple of these nails popped off when I was doing my hair. So I re-glued them and now there's glue all over my fingers. Anywho, I also, I am so proud of myself. I've been reading more. I made a goal for, at the end of last year, I was watching a lot of videos and seeing a lot of TikToks of people who read and talking about books and I was like, oh, I want to be a reader, I want that to be me. So I made a goal for myself this year that I would read one book a month. I've been doing pretty well, if I say so myself. I have read seven books thus far this year. I don't know, I don't know, no need to brag, <laughs> no need to brag. Like, I'm a reader now. But now with that, I have always this little impulse to buy books that I hear people talking about on, you know, on YouTube and TikTok. That's the one downside, is that I have no self-control. Because I'm like, it's a book. Why not? You know? I'm gonna read it eventually. It's not like a journal that I'd buy all the time. Anytime I went to Target, or maybe Walmart, or anywhere that had a notebook. Cut back on that. Actually, that's a lie. I actually just bought this notebook from Barnes & Noble instead of buying a book. <laughs> because if I went in there and I bought a book that I just picked up, I knew I wasn't going to read it. I have noticed that if I buy a book that looks interesting in the store, I won't buy it. But if I see a book that are recommended in videos and stuff, then I'll buy it. Why? I don't know. <laughs> because it's the same thing. You know, I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. Anywho, but yeah, I've been reading, pretty proud of myself. Oh, I'm reading this book currently. If you wanna read along with me, if you wanna get into reading, you can make a little, little tiny book club together. <laughs> How fun would that be? That would be so much fun. Honestly, oh, hold on, uh, let me show you the book that I'm reading currently. I just started The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by um, Taylor Jenkins Reid. It's good thus far, but I've only gotten to, I've only gotten to chapter five. The issue with this book is, first off, it is interesting. The only issue is, is that the text is very, very tiny very tiny and for some reason that bothers me and makes me think it's a lot longer than it is i know it's not but like i don't know it just bothers me a little bit but anyways back to the whole book thing book club thing if you got like honestly if you guys are gonna read the books and then you know you want to talk to me about them let's i have no one to talk to books talk to about books the the, the one person that i thought she doesn't read anymore so and I, I don't read dark books, but I prefer creepy books. <laughs> like, not creepy. I like mystery books or like crime books. I, I got this one because I, th I thought, okay, so why not, let's take a break from murder mystery. Let's take a break from all of that because, sorry, I keep getting distracted by the TV. I can't even hear it, but yet I'm distracted. Anywho, I thought I needed a break from the murder mysteries, from the um, the dark books that I've been reading. Why? Um, because anytime I explain them to my mom, I can't even explain the full book to her because she gets uncomfortable and she doesn't want to hear it. And she's the only person I can really explain the book to. Actually, no. I mean, I explained to my boyfriend, but he has no choice but to listen. Yeah, I mean, anyways. So, again, if you guys have any suggestions or things that you want me to talk about in terms of the all too real diaries, you know, and everything that has to do with that, leave it in the comments. If you're a reader, what books have you been reading? Leave those down below. Let's. That'll be the happy comment, you know. Not that the other one wasn't happy, but I feel like that part is a little too, like, a little too sad. A little too, the all too real diaries can get a little sad. I hope I don't cry because I don't want to cry because I think people crying on the internet is a little annoying. But we might cry. We might. Get, we're gonna get real raw, you know. But if if you want to watch that, please subscribe, like like the video, you know. Follow me on all my social medias. They're in the description. 
Joanna J. Calderon on everything, please. Thank you very much. And let's not mention that I don't look great because I don't wear makeup at all. So this is the real me. I do my hair, not the makeup. Although I did do my makeup the other day when we went to go see uh, the Batman movie and um, the foundation I used broke me out and my face was just freaking red and itchy for about two days. Which sucked because I liked the foundation. <laughs> Anyways, bye. <laughs> That's it. That's the video. Night. <laughs>